Hello, I'm Amanda and welcome to this midweek mini craft haul. Wow, that was a mouthful. Starting off with these very cute little wooden craft keepers. These are perfect to hold threads or ribbon. I saw them in the store and I thought they were so cute. There's a little owl and a little hedgehog and I'm planning on using these for my embroidery threads. I'll possibly put the white and the black on these because they're always a staple that I have in my little embroidery um, tray full of embroidery threads. I just thought they were really, really cute. Um, they're on sale. I think they were like $3 each or something like that. And they're just so modern and sweet. Um, and I thought they would look really cool in my embroidery box. And to add to my embroidery stash, I also bought a lovely bunch of green DMC threads. I don't particularly have a reason for these uh, or for the colour. I'm, I'm just sort of obsessing over turquoises and greens and aquas and all of these sort of shades. So I picked them up. There are only ooh, 99 cents I think, uh, which is pretty good for DMC threads because I think they're usually over a dollar. So I picked up a whole bunch and if you want to know the particular colours that I got, uh, that's all down in the description box below. Next I got a packet of these brads. Um, I call them split pins, but these are by uh, Frenchville and they've got really cute little pastel colours and I thought they were really, really sweet. I don't scrapbook, uh, but I do make cards, so I picked these up so I could add a little bit of colour to the cards that I give away for birthdays and other fancy occasions. Mm -hmm. And keeping on with the theme of cards, I also picked up this packet of really cute die cut shapes. They're like little animals with different types of sayings and really cute little kid things. I thought these would be really, really cute to use to make cards in the future for my nephews. Or if I do ever get into scrapbooking, which I very much doubt I will, I just, it's just not really my thing. But I just thought they were really, really cute, and I'll put them with all my other craft card making things. Yeah. I also picked up a few packets of stickers. This one has got all different birthday wishes. Um, yeah, and that's it, pretty much. Let's celebrate birthday wishes. Happy birthday. And these are the stickers that I'll put either on the front of a card or inside of a card. Or, I, I don't know, maybe you might stick it on a, a chest of a proud birthday boy. I've been looking for something like this for ages. They're not too, you know, boring or old. Uh, they're perfect for kids and they were only $2 and you get two sheets, which is really, really good. The other stickers that I picked up are these really cool corkboard stickers. They're by Frenchville and there's like little moustaches and glasses so they're very um, on trend. And these were only a dollar, they were on sale so I was like I gotta pick them up. There's only one sheet which kind of sucks but uh, for a dollar I can't complain. Now I can't do a craft haul without showing you some fabric. Here in Australia in one of our major craft stores uh, which is Spotlight, the fat quarters that they sell they call them flat fats um, but they're exactly the same as fat quarters, the same sizes but these are all the fat quarters that I picked up from there. There was a reason why I did pick them up. I have a few craft tutorials coming up in the future and they will feature fat quarters. So the first two up that I got are fat quarters uh, by Saffron Craig. Saffron Craig is a Sydney based um, textile artist. She does a lot of surface design prints and these are just two of the fat quarters from her range. This is actually a scarf by Saffron Craig. She does beautiful prints and designs and I really love her quirky sort of design. I've just said design about 10,000 times. So I've picked up two of these because I'm going to show you a craft tutorial in how to make an infinity scarf with two fat quarters. And I'm also going to do another infinity scarf with this one. This is a fat quarter by Prince Charming. They are also another local surface textile designer and they do some really awesome prints too. And I have a pink one 
that's the same. I thought they were really, really sweet. And to match with those, I've got a basic green and grey striped triangle um, prints that are from uh, the actual sort of spotlight kind of brand. So I'm really excited to get into them and to uh, be on the lookout for that tutorial of an infinity scarf. I'm pretty excited to get into it. Yeah. And finally, I got a big bag of Hobby Feel. Yee. Hobby Feel is like the stuff that you stuff um, like stuffed animals with and softies and things. So I've got a big 500 gram bag of that because I have some other tutorials that I'm going to show you in making a fin pillow and a jake pillow and maybe a couple more but they're all sort of still in the designing process but I'm very excited to um, get them finalized and filmed and then uploaded so you can watch them and make them yourself. So thanks very much for watching my little mini craft tutorial. There's not much, but it's enough to get me started in what needs to be done. Also just to fill up my stocks, uh, as you do. If you are interested to see any of the tutorials that I have mentioned in this video, subscribe and you will see them as soon as I upload them. If you are new to this channel and my videos, you might not know that I also write a quilting blog. If you want to go check that out, the address is simply 3 and 3 quarters.net. There is a link down in the description box as well. Go check it out. I'm always posting on there. So thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you sometime very, very soon. Bye! Next up, I picked up a packet of... Oh, next up, I picked... Oh, I can't say it. Next up, I picked... Ooh, next up, I picked...